Storm and then mess so, up the groove. That really leaves his best two stages as, uh, well, I guess three, Dreamland and uh, Battlefield. Battlefield. And then Pokemon Stadium, yep. if they have uh, the good transformations, yeah. for sure, would definitely favor him. It's a, Pokemon Stadium's a gamble. Mm -hmm. I hope they freeze the stadium soon, actually. I feel like uh, Pokemon Stadium is uh, the melee equivalent of Smashville. A lot of people like to go to Pokemon Stadium. What? See, I think the reason that the Falcons definitely like to strike to the stage is just because... You know, this isn't a stage where Falco can stand back and camp. It's way too small. And Falcon's his uh, short hop distance, he can uh, be on you from the other side of the stage in a split second. Mm -hmm. But Lance has got that stock lead. He definitely feels comfortable. You can see it for sure that he's definitely comfortable in this matchup right now. But yeah, like... Like we kind of said before, you know, while Falco can get a lot of mileage from, like, forcing Falcon to approach, Lance isn't taking that road. He just wants to, to hit Falcon. Falcon dies. Falco dies. He's a glass cannon. But Falcon is definitely, uh, arguably, a much more fragile glass cannon. Mm -hmm. But also, arguably more explosive. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I don't... Randall saved if him. If Randall hadn't that. been there, I don't know if uh, Frazier would have been ready to Meteor cancel that. Alright, that finishes off that. See, Falcon does not want to stay in his shield. Like, but with a player like Lance, as fast and as textful as he is, you know, it's definitely kind of hard to... Or it's honestly kind of scary, intimidating to to kind of try to, like, run around him, because, you know, if he outpaces you and gets a shine, like, you just don't want to get hit. <laughs> but at the same time, you don't want to get grabbed either, and... Definitely grab a shield. All right, even stocks here. Oh, he's trying to read that roll in. Don't know what he would have gotten off of a knee at 40%, but here's the check, Chase, and he reads the roll in again. Lance does not want to roll in. I think he knows that Fridge is looking for it. Good shielding there. DI's that back throw in, but Lance just stands there and watches him. Ooh, I don't know what that was supposed to be. Maybe uh, a full hop in there. Maybe he was expecting uh, Fridge to drop through, but that forward smash did not seem to be covering anything. Oh, is that? That is the Falco's saw. Uh, oh, oh my god, Randall, Randall saves him. With the save. Yeah. No. It was a very good timing on that. Yeah, you can follow the clock. It's pretty easy. I wasn't paying attention, though. All right, so what would have been a stock lead for Fridges now turned into a stock lead for Lance, but now, even game. Let's see what Fridges Lance can do with that invincibility. Pretty much nothing. It's 3% on him with the laser. Oh, Fridge gets a grab. Good power shield. Oh, he's like really a raw knee. I, Lance did not mean to turn those lasers around, but back airs him off. He's still in a pretty advantageous position. But now, Fridge is pushing center stage. If he can control stage and get a grab, that could be... Well, that's it. All right, Lance is up 1-0. Frigid's probably going to want to go to Pokemon. Mm -hmm. May the odds be in your favor. I'll tell you what, he does not want to go to the rock stage. He does not want to go to the fire stage. Actually, yeah, it's just like... So scary. Oh my wow, god, that what is a, a quick, quick stock. first stock. Only 10 seconds in and he's up a full stock. Oh, but we're just going to try to do the same thing. Back throws him off, but really doesn't threaten the corner. Like, or he doesn't threaten the corner enough to... One of the things I like about uh, this matchup is uh, with Falcon, you can just chain grab for eternity. But at the same time, Tech Falcon... Chase, yeah. 
Falco just does what Falco does. And just yeah. lasers. Laser, up damage. tilt will pretty much shut out. Like a well time uh, up tilt will shut down any approach option that Falco needs to throw out there. Yeah, so it's a very. Uh, I wouldn't say even, oh. but it's a pretty good, good matchup. That up air hitbox. He's uh, a great edge guard for Bridget. Bridget has hit a ton of those reverse uh, up airs. Forward smash. If Falco's short recovery, oh, I don't think Frigid wants to be here at all. I mean, it's not Fox, but Lance is fast. He has a full side lead. Frigid does not want to eat 100% here. Gets him off stage, though. Side B he decides to up throw instead of throwing back off stage. Oh, this up oh my gosh, up B instead of a knee. Fair, wow. Interesting option. And that's good. Uh, first she's going to try to run away. But lead, yeah. Lansing is doing such a good job of controlling the stage. Both players look like they are uh, trying to keep their nerves down. Just getting in the mind of their opponents. I don't know if either of them worry so much about nerves. But Lance is very uh, seasoned. But this definitely isn't Bridget's first radio either. Bridget did not like that at all. No, Alkin's recovery is definitely very exploitable. Both of these characters are very good at edge guarding each other. And, oh my goodness, that that, that knee at what 80%? But Lance did not di for the knee at all. He could have survived that if he, uh, you know, di'd up and in. Maybe he was trying to go for the attack on stage. That's what it looks like. He barely missed the stage. Yeah, missed the stage. That's what they call a uh, West Coast di. <laughs> Chain grab? No. Oh. Two of them. Interesting there. option. Instead of de trying to dash back and get the re grab, do the tech chase. He sends him right off stage. A tight game, but oh my gosh. For just not what oh, it is, these techs shine, shine off the top. That, that, kill. that, was that is nice. exactly why you don't want to take Falco to, to Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. He can do that on many transformations. That mountain transformation, uh, that can just screw up your game.